Hi, it's Graham again from Spectrum Eye Care. Well, this is another of our series and this today we are doing contrast sensitivity. This is one of my favorite tests. We use it to diagnose an early disease process or any condition. Contrast sensitivity drops off way before the VA has dropped off. Long before you notice a drop in VA, you will notice a drop in contrast sensitivity. Have you ever, or should I rather say, when last did you have a patient that read 66 with each eye, yet read the 166 line much slower with one eye than the other? How do we record this? We cannot. Except with contrast sensitivity, you can. Any early disease process like ARMD, cataracts, and particularly optic nerve disease are very difficult to detect. If you check any patient that's got multiple sclerosis, often you find a drop off in contrast sensitivity because at some stage you've had an episode of optic neuritis. Slight corneal edema due to contact lens overwear, very easy to see, a drop off in contrast sensitivity. A very useful test indeed. Let's see how do we do this test. Firstly, select auxiliary from the top menu bar and contrast from the lower menu bar. You can choose between the bar or the letter screener or the finer measuring test. In this case we choose the test and we choose the glyph optotype. You can choose any one of the others as is your personal preference. The screen automatically defaults to a full screen and the VA displayed is 69.5. This is the most common option as the recommended setting is two lines better than the best VA attained. To change the VA, simply hover the mouse pointer over the VA display block and by rolling the mouse wheel the VA can be adjusted. By rolling the mouse wheel anywhere else on the screen will adjust the contrast itself. By clicking the mouse wheel, the glyph can be randomized. The patient is asked to identify the position of the open side of the glyph. We were asked, if the practitioner's contrast sensitivity is not so good, how would he or she know the patient's responses were accurate? Well, by left clicking while over a line, the orientation of the glyphs is displayed in black. Historically, contrast sensitivity is difficult to do, especially with a trial frame. You need a special room, you need special illumination. However, with Spectrum, this makes it easy to do behind the Phoropter. We encourage you to include this as a part of your routine. You'll be surprised how often you're able to detect subtle changes. If you do detect any pathology, patient will be very grateful and become your patient for life. More next time. Until then, stay connected via the LinkedIn community.